We are going to get our next guests in the studio and welcome them to us now, batting. We please welcome the announcer of not only your Phillies, but Eagles for many, many, many years. Uh, Dan Baker is yeah. here with us this morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Preston. How are and you? Steve. How, How are, are you, you today, sir? Great, thank you. Would you care for a drumstick this morning? <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> okay. I thought we'd offer that up. Their nutty goodness. Yes. And uh, with Dan, we also have uh, the president of Homers for Hope, which is the charity event that they are speaking of uh, today. And we have uh, John Durso. Hey! Hey, hey morning, guys. John. Good morning. How you doing, guys? I'm great, thanks. Uh, excellent. So tell us a little bit about uh, the event that you are here to promote. Either one of you guys. Hey, what do you John. Think? Oh, uh, well, uh, basically, we're having a, a high school aged uh, home run derby, and we're raising money for local families who have had some kind of tragic event uh, happen to them, and, and they need they need all of our help. So we have four different events all happening on July 2nd, and um, it's basically like a home run hitting contest where we hopefully will have 20 boys and 20 girls all compete at regional events, and uh, then we'll have a championship on Sunday, July 3rd at the uh, Campbell's Field, which is the home of the Camden yeah, River Sharks, yeah, and that's where nice. our, our wonderful friend Dan Baker comes in. Cool, cool. That's excellent. Now, wh- how do people get to these qualifying events, and when are they taking place, and how can you find out about them? Uh, well, best part, uh, best way to do that is to go to our website, which is www.homersforhope.org, and it's F-O-R, not the number four, H-O-M-E-R-S, F-O-R-H-O-P-E.org. There's a registration button right on there, and as long as you are a high school student, it um, doesn't really matter where you live. If you want to do something good for a family in the local area that needs some help, uh, come register at the website. But Fam- you don't have to be a student, Right. Well, no, if you're in the high school age, yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah so, yeah, yeah. We, we're, the whole point is we're trying to um, get these high school athletes ingrained and in, in, in involved in their community cool. as well. Yeah. All right. But, so families that have uh, lost their home due to a fire, things like this, or, you know, had uh, deaths in the family? And, uh, yeah. Um, we're talking uh, about? Sure. The, yeah. The inspiration for this uh, is a friend of mine named, uh, named Rip. He passed away two years ago. Uh, he played baseball with our, our team, and um, he unfortunately left his wife and his son, who has a medical condition, and... Um, we did a few home run derbies to try to help them out, and as we did that, people heard about what we were doing, and they said, hey, I have a, a neighbor who has had an, an event just like that, and they need some help paying their bills, so can you show us how to do one of these? And so now this, you know, we have four of them going on. Very this cool, and home run awesome. derbies are, are just fun. Yeah, they're, they're, everyone's they're, everyone wants to take a crack at uh, at doing that. Yeah, so, they're, they're so Daniel, you'll, you'll announce the uh, uh, at the championships. I assume that's what you're going to be doing, announcing the uh, the kids who come out for this event. Yes, the preliminary rounds are going to be on Saturday, July second. Okay, at the uh, several different sites in the Delaware Valley, and then the championship round will be at Campbell's Field, cool. h- home of the River Sharks in Camden. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, uh, it's uh, kind of cool hearing your name announced by Dan Baker. Yeah. Uh, are there going to be any audio? Uh, I mean, are they going to get audio of that moment? or Because that, that's a little little piece of Bob history. Would, yeah, yeah we have video we've, camera, yeah. We've got a great volunteer uh, core, and we're going to be taping and videotaping Excellent. and everything. Yeah, we're, we're going to make this really fun for all the kids that are involved. Dan, Dan, you've been with the Philly since 1972? Yes, this is my 40th year. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Really? Thank you. Man, that Do you is- think you're going to stay with it? <laughs> I'm going to try. How often does the Fanatic come into your booth? Not very often, but really, uh, uh, sometimes uh, he'll come in uh, before the game starts and we'll confer about what shtick he might be doing during the game and if there's any audio accompaniment that he requires. Hey, when um, it, this didn't happen before, when the Phillies and Eagles played um, on the same field, but now that they're you know in, in different venues, uh, there have been times where the Phillies and the Eagles will play on the same day. How, how hard is that for you? Well, it's challenging, but uh, you know, great fun uh, mm-hmm. to do uh, both of those games in the same day. I've done that a couple of times, like when the Phillies are in a World Series game or a playoff game, and the Eagles have a game. Uh, but fortunately, uh, with uh, uh, by virtue of an agreement with the city, they won't play at the same time. Right. Uh, sometimes people have said to me, "Well, if you had a conflict, which would you do?" Well. <laughs> It's like asking a parent to choose between your son and your daughter. You know, it, yeah. I, I love them both. But you go and, with the son. Yeah. <laughs> the well, son's going to be more I, fun to watch. I, I, fortunately, I don't have to make a choice. And right. I'm, I'm grateful uh, for the privilege of announcing both the Philadelphia Phillies and the Philadelphia Eagles. But you, I, need, you need prep, obviously. So if you're, if you're back, to, I mean, this doesn't occur all the time. But still, if you, you have to do it, you have to prep for both. I mean, that's got to be a, a Herculean chore to get up to speed for two games in one day. Uh, there's a lot of uh, prep work. Uh, you're right about that, Steve. And uh, 
but it happens so infrequently right. that I have both. Not games, an issue. So it's, it's not a, yeah. you know, a and you can just deal. fake it. <laughs> <laughs> that guy really did well. Dan, uh, what's the most difficult name you've had uh, uh, over the years? Are there a handful of them that have just been hard to get correct? There's a few challenging names, uh, mm-hmm. Preston, but uh, uh, we they provide you with a green book and a red book. Green book for the National League, red book for the American League that has the phonetic spellings of all of the names. Okay. All right. And uh, so God. I can get the yeah. proper pronunciations out of there. And if it's not there or if it's in there incorrectly... I will sometimes ask the visiting broadcasters, PR people, uh, manager, coaches, or sometimes even the players themselves. And uh, so I just ask and I repeat. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Yeah. You can't, can't be blamed for that. If, well, you're, yeah. if you've been doing it for 40 years, uh, you know, you've had to uh, made some mistakes along the way. You're a professional. Is there anyone that stands out where you're like, oh, man, did I miss that? Well, I, I can. Uh, there's a couple of mistakes. And, of course, you know, if we talk long enough, we're go- you know, it's inevitable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you just try to get through it and, and hopefully uh, don't make a, too much of a fool of yourself. And uh, But I can remember uh, in the uh, mid-'70s, uh, the Phillies had a first baseman named Willie Montanez, number 27. <laughs> right. And uh, the Phillies were playing the San Francisco Giants. At the time, the Giants had a Hall of Fame first baseman named Willie McCovey, number 44. So Willie Montanez is getting ready to bat. And I say, now batting for the Phillies, number 27, <laughs> Willie McCovey. <laughs> and Willie Montanez is in the batter's box. Oh, no. And he turns and looks up at me. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what did I just say? <laughs> so the next day, yeah. I'm down on the field. I was so stunned, I didn't even correct myself. I was ashamed, embarrassed, humiliated, all of those. And uh, I'm on the field the next day going over some pronunciations. And uh, Willie Montanez walks behind me and he says, Montanez, Montanez. I said, Willie, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. He came over and gave me a big hug, though. You know, but, I mean, so, they, they, they got to understand you have. That's a bit of a chore to do uh, all that. I mean, I if don't he, have it's to... not like you said Babe Ruth, for, you know, I mean, it was understandable. Well, uh, but I taught, you know, as a PA announcer, yeah. unlike the radio and television play-by-play and uh, announcers and color analysts, we don't have to talk as much. So right. you should, you know, uh, be able to get the names right. And uh, <laughs> will, for, for will, the most part, I do. Will you correct yourself if you do make a, sta- a mistake right away, usually? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. And, you know, I mean. Because I've never heard you make a mistake. So. B- better yeah, to, again, you know, because of the infrequency, I think Nick's, uh, Nick's heard another mistake. <laughs> no, no, no. I think you're doing just fine. I, I think it's great when a voice becomes associated with a building or a venue, and, and your right. voice is now uh, a part of my memories within South Philadelphia at, at the old vet, um, which I don't miss at all, but Casey does. And, and so I wanted to get your opinion on uh, on that building. Do you miss it at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't like it, huh? I, I, no, uh, I, I did like it uh, for uh, for many reasons. I much prefer Citizens Bank Park, which is a classic baseball park, and uh, the, there's a great atmosphere there, a natural a grass field, a, a great view of uh, Center City, Philadelphia, and our beautiful skyline, and the atmosphere in Ashburn Alley, the proximity to the field of the seats, Yeah. whereas Veteran Stadium was a... Uh, multi-use field for mm-hmm. both football and baseball. And in an attempt to accommodate both, it's not tailored toward either. And, right. of course, uh, it was circular, and uh, you couldn't see above, uh, you know, uh, you couldn't see that center city skyline. It had a na- it had an artificial turf, right. which uh, on warm summer days was just smoking. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. awful. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and now there's an open-air feel to this one. But I must say, uh, the Phillies won their first ever World Series championship at the vet. It's true. Right. 1980. Uh, I met my wife, Kathy, there. My nice. children, Darren and Courtney, worked for the Phillies. We're conceived there. Yeah. Now, which World, <laughs> now, now, which World <laughs> Series ring are you wearing right now? The uh, 08 or the 80? This is 2008. Wow. Okay. Wow. It was very beautiful. Can I have it? <laughs> That's gorgeous. That was my question. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Gotcha. Sorry. Um, listen, whenever you do retire, can I have a job? Because I would love to do that. No, just, That's just not for, my decision. Just for the fills. Uh, but, uh, Casey, I'm, I'm flattered that you asked. And yeah. I'm I'm hoping to do this for a while yet. That's fine. I, mean, I got some time, too. I'm a young and 
Robust 64, <laughs> and I'd like to be able to do this for at least another 10 years, which would give me 50 years as PA announcer uh, for the Phillies. That, to well, that the best was... of my knowledge, there are only two other announcers in the history of Major League Baseball. I was going to ask that, you that, that that would put you in a in a class with just a select few, right? We just lost one last year, right? Yeah. The great Bob Shepard of the Shepherd. Yankees is one, Nick, yeah. and the other is Pat Piper, who was the voice, uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, Preston's from the Midwest, uh, mm-hmm. Pat Piper was the voice of the, the Cubs at Wrigley Field okay. from 1916 to 1976. In wow. fact, he was there when Babe Ruth called his shot wow. at the 1932 World Series. Wow. Pat Piper was the PA announcer, 60 years in that role. Uh, like any good Phillies fan, I, I do my good uh, my, my fair share of hating the Yankees. Um, but, you know, Bob Shepard and Yankee Stadium were, were synonymous. And, and so for um, – it's cool to recognize people like that, you know, people who, who have spent their life in one place doing one job and doing it so well that then when you go to Yankee Stadium and you hear or heard Bob Shepard's voice, you, you sort of felt like you were home. And, and so to your credit, Dan, I think you do a great job of that in South Philly as well. Thank you very much. 40 years. Imagine that. That's awesome, man. Uh, excellent. Well, I'm just trying to get to today. I, I know. Yes. <laughs> I just want to get today over with. Yeah. Um, well, the uh, um, Homers for Hope is uh, set up now, and we have the details at WMMR.com. July 2nd, Campbell's Field, which is a beautiful stadium, by the way, if people haven't been there yet, uh, is where this uh, final is going to take place. And it's it's doing a good thing for locally, and we love that. So we have the information up on our website, and uh, you can go there, click on it. And anybody, any high school age kid. Boy yeah. or girl can get in on this, right, John? Yeah, absolutely. They don't actually have. They may like baseball, but they may not play, or they okay. may like softball. It, it. We will take anybody that wants to help us. And one thing I forgot to mention, Case. Mm-hmm. Yo, we got a lot of adults that want to play. Yeah. Yeah, we have an adult one in Glassboro. Oh, you do? Yes, we do. That it's same a weekend. Very short porch for people like you. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. <laughs> uh, go for it. And that sounds good. You should. You should yeah. give it a shot. All right. Cool. Yeah. This is gonna hit them. Uh, all right, well, excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. We appreciate it. Good luck with the event. Dan Baker and John Verso. Thank you. On the Preston and Steve Show. And go Phils. They play tonight. Preston and Steve on 93.3.